Our world doesn't always act as we know it. Scientists from all over the world are trying to figure out what caused a mysterious blue light to spiral in the sky over Norway. Sometimes the most bizarre things unfold on the most ordinary days. Papa Morales was outside his house in Burbank, California when he saw something strange in the sky. Is that Jesus Christ? Please don't fly From rivers acting strange. Holy Unbelievable! A river on fire! Animals forgetting their reality. And unbelievable instances happening for real. This photo has been officially declared by Costa Rica as an official UFO photo. Here are some moments cameras caught that cannot go unnoticed. God, Titanic 2.0. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here's a man who managed to keep himself warm in freezing temperatures without any firewood. Just look at the intensity of that fire. It's like some dragon is breathing from beneath the surface. The truth about this mind-bending video is methane gas. Several rivers have methane trapped beneath the ice sheets, and it is highly combustible if met with fire. <laughs> Hence, providing this guy with a natural heater. I don't know about you, but that is going to give me some nightmares. This guy decided to cut some logs for a nice bonfire and found hundreds of these tiny critters inhabiting the wooden piece. These Tom Bilkel worms are known to drill into wood and make it their home. So if you ever find some wood, make sure you open it up carefully. Those sounds are gonna haunt me forever. And what's wrong with this water? It looks like some kind of demon is getting ready to take over the world. As creepy as this looks, it was just scientists experimenting on a lake in Alaska. You must have watched those videos about sound or radio waves causing water to move in a certain manner. This is exactly what's happening here, just on a massive level. The experiment was conducted by HARP to see how our water bodies would react to such stimuli. I gotta say, they got some impressive results. I wonder if Harp was also behind those creepy horns heard all over the world. Horses are known for their speed and strength, and they've acquired a new talent of floating on the water, too. Hey, buddies. You don't get scared? Where's the moms? Well, if you look a bit closer, you'll see that the secret lies in our own eyes. This was the perfect optical illusion, making us all feel like we're living in a matrix world. Here's how it works. The horses were standing in shallow water, and the boat was moving around them, making it look like the horses were actually walking on the water. Where's the moms? All right, is this some kind of a glitch in the matrix? I'm not even sure how or why these water droplets are so perfectly lined up over these leaves. It's like someone hit the pause button right after rain. But there's a logical explanation for this mind-boggling scene. These are actually water droplets sitting on top of a spider web. These webs are specially designed to catch anything that comes their way, even water droplets, hence creating this beautiful structure. Locals and fishermen in Masim Island, Philippines, witnessed an extraordinary phenomenon as large schools of fish collectively swam ashore, leaving residents astounded. They even mentioned that no one had witnessed anything like this during their whole lives in the area. Experts were still trying to figure out what could have caused such a massive stranding, but the locals seemed to have no problem with it. They brought their nets and baskets and tried to gather as much fish as they could for a nice dinner. Oh. I'm not sure how this happened, but it looks like clouds had landed on the river's surface. Could this be the result of some fish washing their clothes? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Even though it looks pretty to us, many experts believe that some harmful chemicals might have been released into the river, which resulted in creating the foam. 
So if you ever find clouds in the water, make sure you stay away from them, no matter how cute they may look. If you're looking for some fun, make sure you try water zorbing in Goa. <laughs> But this activity is not for the faint of heart. Here's how it works. You get in a giant plastic ball that's attached with a rope, and once you're ready, they pull you on the river surface. It's like walking on water while being in the safety of a ball. Many even struggle to stand upright in the sport. So if you ever plan on going for water zorbing, make sure you practice some balance first. Locals from a village in Portugal had the most heartbreaking experience of their lives when their streets turned red with wine flowing through every corner. It looked like it had been raining there, but that was not the case. This bizarre moment happened when two wine tanks at a distillery in São Lourenço do Bairro malfunctioned and burst out gallons of red wine. It looks like these people will have to live without it for quite some time. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that it looks like a natural trampoline. Even though these squishy earth patches look fun to us, they are not very good for the ground. According to experts, these are created when the soil has absorbed as much water as it can hold, and anything additional makes it wobble like this. If not treated, saturated grounds can turn into sinkholes that can be quite harmful to the overall safety of the area and the soil. <laughs> After watching this video, I've unlocked a new fear of traveling. These truck drivers felt like their car was not moving properly, and when they stepped outside to check what was wrong, they found this. A giant pimple on the tire. Now, I'm not sure how this happens, but the process of releasing the bubble was quite satisfying. <laughs> If you ever take a lunchbox with you to school, make sure you bring it back on time, or we can get possessed or even cursed by the ultimate mold. <laughs> this happened when a bunch of kids left their lunchbox in the locker, only to discover it was taken over by loads of fungus. I'm not sure if they should even be breathing around that. <laughs> I know it looks like a giant monster sneezed on this river, but that's not the case. This is ice. It is known to exist in the most bizarre ways in nature, from the slushy form to brinicles, and now this stretchy slush texture. It even feels illegal to look at it. Many who watched the video explained that this was the water in mid-state turning to ice. For some odd reason, it's kind of tempting to eat it. While kayaking on the river, a man found this happening on the surface. Incredible. This is in the middle of nowhere. And although it looks like the water is boiling, the reality was that some gases from the riverbed had escaped and were coming to the surface. Check out these gases bubbling up out of the water here. Although the exact location of this river was not revealed, this can happen in some areas and is natural. Doesn't that look like the perfect description of an otherworldly being? As opposed to what you would be thinking, this is actually a Brazilian skipper caterpillar. And no, no one did any experiments on them. They naturally look like that. With skin so clear, you can peek at its insides. The white strings are actually its respiratory system. This five centimeter long muncher is found from Brazil to Texas, and it transforms into a swift brown butterfly when the right time comes. Truly a marvel of nature. As soon as the rain started pouring down, this umbrella suddenly forgot that it actually saved others from the water and started running for its life. The CCTV footage was reviewed by a confused homeowner who could not find her stuff after the rain and I'm pretty sure she never would have believed where her stuff went without the video. Hey, that doesn't look normal. I'm starting to really question everything I've known so far. I always thought of goats as herbivores. How could this one casually munch on a fish? Some viewers suggested that goats are not supposed to eat anything other than plants, and this owner had mistakenly fed the animal with fish. This has to be the best moment ever captured by a CCTV camera. A bottle in a department store managed to escape from its carton. 
and then it propelled back to the same spot? What are the odds of this actually happening? This fisherman was struggling to get a small fish in his net, but nature had planned something big for him just as he got the catch. An even bigger fish jumped out of the water right into the net. You'll think twice before throwing stones after watching this video. <laughs> These friends had gathered on top of a hill and were having fun with some stones, and they started flying instead of falling. <laughs> Did you just see how that stone defied gravity and decided to move on its own? The next one loved its place so much that it came back to it. <laughs> now there's no magic going on here. It was simply because of the strong air currents that carried the lightweight objects with them. So next time you find stones on a hill, just let them stay where they are. <laughs> that was a goodie. I had no idea that sticks could be this alive. The even more surprising thing is that these aren't sticks at all. It's actually a living organism called pectinaria. They've got this stick-like look because the worm builds a home of sand grains around its body, giving them a peculiar look. So if you're ever gathering firewood, just make sure you don't accidentally burn them up. Here's a fisherman who was casually minding his own business and had got greeted by a flying fish in its own ways. Oh, what's up? Something tells me they should switch their area. Those fish are not too happy to have them around. While walking down a remote area, a man heard loud noises of airplanes passing over his head, and he luckily managed to capture this bizarre footage of what seems like an alien spaceship being escorted somewhere. I know it might sound like an impossible thing, but it strangely felt like such an incident was occurring here. Many online viewers started speculating that the government was actually in contact with extraterrestrial life, and this was just them welcoming a representative from another planet. While enjoying the peaceful flight, a passenger hoped to see some beautiful scene out of the window, but they saw this instead. It almost looked like the engine had stopped working, and they were moving with just their prayers. But if you look closely, that's not the case. This was just the airplane's fan in perfect sync with the frame rate of the camera. It's wonderful how well optical illusions can work. I know it looks like this tree did some crazy skincare routine and was peeling off its skin, but that's not the case. This whole tree was covered in spider webs and someone decided to take them off of it. It looks pretty satisfying though. Now that looks like a perfect scene painted by some professional. The beautiful contrast between brown and blues is just breathtaking. But that is not all. People can float in this water. The Salt Lakes and Siwa, Egypt are popular for their scenery and the floating capabilities of their water. The secret of these unique features lies in the high concentration of salt that makes the water denser than normal giving it the magical feature of making objects and even people oh, float. The people <laughs> Diving with giant whales sounds like a beautiful experience, right? Well, it's not necessarily the same for everyone. This person's trip took an unexpected turn when the animal emptied its intestines in his face, and he was able to capture it all on his camera. What are the odds of that happening at the right time? I'm amazed how no one told me about this side of diving. I might reconsider my trip now. This mesmerizing scene was filmed in Antarctica, and as opposed to the mysterious claims, this was the artwork of a humpback whale that was trying to catch some fish. These smart animals use the Fibonacci spirals to trap their prey. Here's how it works. A whale or a group of whales swims in a circle below a school of fish, blowing bubbles as they go. These bubbles form a net that rises towards the surface, confusing the fish. Once ready, the whale swims up and swoops in all of its catch. It's interesting how smart these giants can be. We all know water extinguishes fire, but what if the water itself catches fire? As bizarre as it sounds, this is actually possible. Holy, unbelievable, a river on fire. Such a blazing phenomenon was recorded at the Condamine River, and viewers started calling it the Gates to Hell. 
but it's not as scary as it looks. Here's the truth behind this eerie phenomenon. The fire was caught by the methane gas escaping from underground. And the fire? Well, it was lit by this guy to check if the gas in the area was combustible or not. So if you ever visit here, make sure you leave anything fiery back at home. Nah, my intrusive thoughts just made me think there's a monster hiding under the sand, and those bubbles are made from its breathing. But the reality is far different. According to experts, this can happen because of air bubbles escaping from the sand and making their way to the surface. We might not be able to walk among the clouds, but that doesn't mean that clouds can't walk among us. The bizarre video showed a cloud-like structure casually roaming on the streets and spreading confusion among its viewers. Some thought that it was best to let the cloud be, as it could be some toxic foam from a factory. Everything looks normal in the start, right? But this woman's phone is in danger. Did you just see that? The clever heist was executed by a tiny fish that managed to jump out of the water and get the phone out of the woman's hand. I'm sure if this incident was not recorded, no one would have figured out how she lost her phone. A group of friends randomly went out and started recording the sky when their cameras picked up something stranger than any person's imagination. It was a humanoid figure walking among the clouds. Now, we all know we're not able to do such a thing, but this video defies all our understanding of how physics works. Could it be a simple camera glitch or an actual person making the impossible happen? What do you think? Work and have so much fun so for so little money. <laughs> this fisherman was strolling through a river in search of the perfect spot for fishing. But the Asian carps inhabiting the water did not like his invasion in their area. So one of them decided to teach him a lesson by literally slapping him in the face. That knocked my hat off. That's a I know they were all jumping around to the water, but that slap definitely looked personal. Hang on, I tell you. Imagine how boring it would be to stay in one place all your life. Already feels creepy. I guess this is why a tree decided to leave behind the roots and try exploring the area a bit. The video was filmed in Joppa, Maryland, and left its viewers with dozens of questions. Some people were curious about how trees could migrate from one place to another, while others wanted answers on who pulled off this prank so perfectly. In 2020, a bizarre video from Iran made rounds on the internet, showing an oil leakage in Masjid Soliman. The person was there to withdraw money from the ATM, and instead got oil spilling all over the place. I knew Iran had a lot of oil, but I wasn't aware they had so much that it could even make its way to the ATMs. I don't think that bulge in the floor looks normal. Whoever is filming it better maintain some distance for their safety. See? That tile just popped out like it was going to take over anything that came in its way. Now, although it might look odd, this is possible due to floor expansion with heat and moisture. So, whenever you build your own house, make sure you hire a proper worker. I must say, I'm impressed by the people living in Siberia. Enduring such cold temperatures has to be a top-tier skill. This man threw out boiling water from his balcony, which instantly evaporated into ice almost instantly. This is a simple physics phenomenon, but it is still super satisfying to watch. I'm pretty sure this can only be witnessed in Australia. A man's house had become a tasty platter for local cockatoo birds, who seemed to love the taste of the plastic cladding drone all over the house. I had no clue that birds were able to do that. Maybe they were going through a change in appetite. One thing's for sure, though. If these birds were not taken away, well, they could have taken over the entire house themselves. A weather report by the Denver Channel was taken over by a curious bird who just could not resist its urge to come in front of the camera. Oh, what should I do? Oh. Whoa, he's got you. Come back. Kiss him. Uh, oh. ah. According to the channel, this critter had scared away the cameraman just to get all the attention to itself. 
I'm impressed by how the reporter decided to play along with the situation instead of just turning it into a serious thing. What in the... <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna Hi. make friends with the bird. She's not scared. Nah. The other guy's oh! a limp. We need more people like her on TV. Could you believe it if your luggage was left hanging out of a plane midair? This actually happened to a group of girls who were traveling through a plane and could not believe that their stuff was outside their carrier. I hope they got to their destination with their luggage still with them. This has to be the most synchronized walking birds I've ever seen. Something tells me that they all glitched for a while and forgot they had wings. Oh, now they know how to fly. You might be wondering why these men are lighting a frozen lake on fire. And the answers lie just beneath the surface, where some amazing methane bubbles are trapped, just ready to make their way to the surface. It is believed that methane gas is far more combustible than carbon dioxide. It can get trapped under the ice sheets of multiple lakes due to permafrost thawing and organic matter decomposition. Even though it looks fun to set it on fire, it's advised to stay away from these mystic sites. <laughs> Remember how the Titanic met the depths of the ocean? Well, these sailors were about to undergo something similar when an iceberg almost nudged their cruise ship. The people on board even jokingly called it Titanic 2.0. Oh my god! Oh my god! Titanic 2.0. I'm sure everyone thought this was going to be their last journey through the ocean. Oh my gosh! It's Titanic! <laughs> we all know that polar bears are the biggest predators on land, and they have got quite a reputation in the wild world. But even the most feared animals can sometimes feel so lazy that they decide to slide on the ground rather than walking upright. Yeah, I never thought I'd see a polar bear being so lazy. Looks like we can all have our hard days. I know this looks like microscopic organisms carrying out their usual day, but this is actually a real life phenomenon. The blobs that you see moving are actually water bubbles trapped under the layer of ice. This sight can be observed when a thin layer of ice forms at the surface, with a bit of water still flowing underneath. Air bubbles start moving around and set up this calming sight. I know this looks like microscopic organisms carrying out their usual day, but this is actually a real life phenomenon. The blobs that you see moving are actually water bubbles trapped under the layer of ice. This sight can be observed when a thin layer of ice forms at the surface, with a bit of water still flowing underneath. Air bubbles start moving around and set up this calming sight. Ducks are normally used to landing on the water surface and living in it, but one fateful day, their everyday home turned into a sliding surprise. When these birds came dashing towards their home, they had to slide all over it. With talent like that, these ducks could take part in those fancy ice skating championships. <laughs> Looks like someone accidentally dropped their whole crate of watermelons here. This has to be the most random thing someone could encounter on their wildlife stroll. Although the source of these fruits was never found, some suggested it was a clever way of moving them from one place to another. Normally, birds are known to build their nests in trees, but this little one decided to not stay at one place. It built a home right in the middle of a buffalo's horns. And the buffalo doesn't even seem to have any problem with it. In another instance, a bird had made its home on another buffalo's head and was confident enough to lay her eggs in it. I'm surprised at how steady these are. At first, it looks like a deer carrying out a usual deer activity, but wait till you know the reality. This one had actually decided to munch on something different than boring old grass. It had its eyes fixed on a bird. Yeah, you heard me right. While it looks puzzling, such feeding behavior happens in deer, but it is very rare. According to experts, they only go for it during scarcity of food, or when they need to make up some nutritional deficiencies like proteins and calcium. Herbivores can't stay pure vegan, after all. If you ever go to Russia, be ready to come across people dressed up as bears and riding bikes openly on a highway. At first, it looks like a normal person, but once these friends got close, they witnessed some bear riding the bike. 
The video was shared on the internet in 2015 and instantly caught the attention of a mass audience, ironically appreciating the driving skills of the bear. I know you're all gonna tell me that's a massive lenticular cloud, but we can't ignore the fact that it creepily resembles a UFO. This bizarre footage was filmed in the city of Bursa in Turkey and left people claiming that it was a portal to another realm or otherworldly beings disguised as clouds. Although this was just nature putting up a show, I'm sure anyone would think this did not belong to our world. Men in Russia are just built differently. It's impressive how they manage to tame wild bears. I know we have all seen their fierce and wild side, and even bears love playing with a balloon. Honestly, who can blame this animal for all that excitement, even if we act like that when we find a balloon? Cats are known to take on almost anything and anyone around them. Slapping an alligator is not their only expertise. They now don't even hesitate to get food out of the jaws of a crocodile. I don't know where these tiny critters get all that confidence from, but it is quite impressive how they can fearlessly take on anyone and anything. How would you react if your Uber driver's pet crow turned up beside the car for a treat? This lady was surprised to see a crow flying just inches away from her Uber and was even more surprised to learn that it was to get some treats. Just like any kind-hearted person would, she even gave it some food from the treat box. Although it looks bizarre, this is possible because crows are known to be super intelligent birds and they can remember our faces as well. So you better not do anything wrong to a crow. At first, it looked like any normal video of people recording the sky. And then this Tic Tac made its entry in the scene and left everyone with dozens of questions. It's creepy how this thing was moving at such fast speeds and did not look anything like a man-made aircraft. This was not the only time it was spotted. On another instance, a drone was used to film a whole area and it accidentally caught a similar Tic Tac rushing through the sky. Many who saw these clips did different calculations and came up with the idea that it was some sort of an alien ship cruising through our atmosphere. It's time for today's open discussion. These gelatinous green entities were found growing at the bottom of a river in Williamsport, Maryland. The person who made this discovery was persistent that he had found some sort of alien colony residing in the depths. But hold those horses. Before jumping to conclusions, let's take a look at a more logical explanation. Some smart viewers shared that these could just be water bubbles trapped in algae, and they were moving with the currents. It's amazing how beautiful of shows nature can put up sometimes. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.